Masking made easy with Luminar Neo's Mask AI is our topic today on Luminar Coffee Break. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Hello everyone, welcome. Now, we're gonna talk about the new Mask AI tool and I'm gonna kind of take the way I'm gonna teach it to you, a different approach on how I wanna show it because the goal is to show you Mask AI. So to sit there and show you every single step I did to edit an image and, and have you walk through it is gonna take a lot more than 10 minutes. So I wanna just show you what I do with Mask AI, then we'll take questions after that. So let me jump right over here to Neo. So here I am in Neo. Now I started with a preset. So that's the first thing I did. And the, the preset I chose was clean light because it came up here, and sure enough, um, you know I picked it from from one of these here. Clean light, I liked it, great. Now I'm going to go over here to the edit tool or the edit tab to show you under edits. I added extra stuff to it. All right, so I'm going to go right to the bottom, and with clean light, the clean light uh, template or preset, the top ones right up to here, up to toning. That's what it applied, and it was awesome. So it applied all the way up to here. In fact, let me show you the before and after real quick, just so we get to it. So here's the original image. So here's the original image, and then Clean Light did a really good job at helping develop the photo. Now I'm gonna jump over here to the Sky AI, and this is where I added the sky in, and it looks great, from this point on, the rest of the tools here is where I used masking because that's what you normally would do, right? So you come in here with structure. And what I want to do with structure is, look at this. Notice it's only, it's only on the sky. So let's come over to masking. Now, I'm going to show you the mask and watch this. In the past, we would have to do that with the paintbrush. You'd go in and you'd have to make sure you masked out the areas that you wanted to add the structure. So watch how this is. So I'm going to come over here and just clear it because I want to start at this point. So everything looks good. Now, I applied structure to it. Every uh, So I have the, let's come back over here, structure. There we go. In fact, let me put that up so you can see it. So here we are, and I, I just went overboard. I, I took it all the way to 100%. So now with the masking, I don't want that. I only want it to be applied to the top, all right? So click on Mask AI. It's going to do its thing. It's thinking, 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 and once it's done thinking, it's going to give us what it feels is in the scene. So it sees a human, it sees the sky, there's some architecture way off into the distant, um, man-made ground, that's pretty cool. So if I were to hover over the say man-made ground, it knows that these stairs, let me get to it, there we go. So it knows that these stairs are man-made. So that's cool. What I want is the sky. So I'm gonna click on the sky. In fact, you know what I'm gonna do, Carl? Oh, there it is. So it found that the it found the stairs, and now I'm gonna get rid of that, and I want it just to apply to the sky. There we go. So in a moment, it's gonna it's gonna pop up, and I'm gonna get rid of that on the bottom. Good. So now the sky is being selected. So let's come over here to the adjustments. And apply. What I'm going to do is this, Carl. Let me reset this. There we go. So I reset it to zero. And I'm going to crank it all the way up. Here we go. And I'm going to boost it all the way up. So notice how everything in the image took on structure uh, AI. Now for the masking, click on the sky. And that's the only part. Notice what just happened. Structure AI got rid of everything else except for the sky. So 
Let's come back here to um, the adjustments. And there it is. So if you notice again, look what, it, look what it did. It chose the sky. So if I go back to masking for a moment, um, it's showing me that again, sky is selected. And if I use this arrow, it's gonna take me back to the brushes and the rest of the, um, the masking tools, but I'm gonna show the sky. There it is. At this point, I can still use the brush, the linear and the radial. I can combine that with this mask just like you did before, all right? But it's down here, it's gonna show you what we just did. All right, so let's come over here to develop now. Now with develop, here's before, here's after. So what did I do with develop? Just increase the smart contrast. And yep, that's about it. So it just all I did was really added contrast to the scene. But here's the catch. Show the mask. Once again, I attacked the sky. So I wanted more contrast just into the sky. And if we come back over here to mask AI, it's going to tell us, yep, once again, human, water, sky, that was in the scene. All right. So I did that all the way up through until I got to toning. And here we are. Now, let's give it a second to render. All right, there it is. So now you can look at this inside of Benelli, but you know what? Those stairs look really harsh. You know, I like everything else, but man, those stairs really look harsh. Well, if I come down here to details, and I turn it on and off, notice only the stairs are affected. All right, now it's regenerating, so it looks like the whole scene was, but just the stairs are. And I know that because if I click on masking, and I click on show, notice it found the man-made object in the scene, or the man-made ground background, or man-made ground. So here's natural ground. If I click on that, it's gonna show me all around the area here. And again, if I didn't get these spots here the way I want it to, <coughs> I can always go back and apply a brush tool and fine tune it and finesse it, but that's not what I want. So I uncheck it and once again, there it is, all right? So if I don't like it, let me just reset it and I'll go back to the very top, give it a second to render and there we have it. So what Masky, Mask AI is doing for us is it's taking what you normally would do with the brush tool, the radial, uh, the linear, and the gradient tool, the mask rather. It's taking that and it's giving you the power of AI. And it's going to look at these images and to let you know what it feels, in the, what's in the scene, and how you can mask that. Now, what I'm going to do is... Let me see if I can grab another image. And I'm not sharing my screen yet. I'll show you one. Okay, here. We'll use this image. Perfect. All right. So now we're in a different scene. All right. And we'll click on edit. Well, actually, let's go to preset real quick. Give it a second. And then it's going to choose. Or I'm going to choose a preset from here just just again as a starting point. Yeah, Carl, I noticed my bandwidth is really um, being finicky right now. All right, fast fix is always good. There it is. Right, so that looks pretty good. Click on edit. And let's see what tools it used. Okay, great. So these are the different tools it used. I'm not going to mess with those yet, but let's see. Let's look at this, and I want to add structure, let's say, to the, to the mountains. All right? So let's start with global. So I'm going to come over here with structure AI. And I can start with masking first, but in this case, I just want to show. And I'm going to go to an extreme so you can see it. Yeah, look, look at those mountains. Look how the mountains, but everything else also has structure AI applied to it. 
So now that's a that's a, a global change. Now I'm going to click on masking, and we're going to make it a local change. So mask AI. Give it a second to render. It's thinking. Now in this scene, let's see as it comes up. Let's see what it finds. We know it's going to find that road. We know it's going to find the grass. And we know it's going to find the water and then the mountains. Yep, look at that. It found a human. It found the sky. Ooh, it found even some of the floral. So if I click on floral, the masking should take us to these little shrubs that are up. And sure enough, it did to the shrubs. Well, what I want to do is I want to take that mountain. So I'm going to click that mountain. And by the way, doing it in this order, look at that. Look at the great mask it did. But by doing it in this order, it's regenerating that structure as it's doing it. So yes, it will be a little bit slower doing it this way. And what you may want to do is just select it first, then come over to the adjustments, and then apply the, the effect. But look at that. Look, look what it did for us. Here's before. Here's after. So it found that area. So I, so I was able to mask it out the way I wanted it. Uh, wanted it. Now, now, I've seen a couple of our uh, ambassadors and affiliates. They love when they work with landscapes. They love making everything else you know, very, very structured and very detailed. And sometimes with the water, they want it to look glassy. This is going to solve that problem where you don't have to go in, into the water, and mask out all of this here or paint the mask onto the um, to the mountains. You did it right there with Mask AI. So what I'm hoping is going to happen is Mask AI is going to change the way you start to do your masking to where, let me rephrase that. You're, you're going to still do your masking the normal, the normal way. The difference is, instead of you having to manually do it, you can rely on Mask AI to let Mask AI do that for you. Now, what's really cool about this is notice I didn't use a paintbrush. I didn't use a gradient, didn't do any of that. I used Mask AI. That means that if I create a batch or if I create a preset and batch process all these images, it's going to find the mountain in all those images all the way through. And so if the mountain is, let's say on the left side of the scene, it's going to find it. If it's on the right side of the scene, it's going to find it. If you did a traditional mask, like the, the brush mask, it's going to brush this area here. So when you go to a new scene and the, and the mountain's over here now, doesn't matter. It's going to go to that area because you manually masked it. So do you see how powerful this is going to um, do for us? What this mask AI is doing is what Face Relight did for portraits. It's what Sky AI did for replacing the sky. In any scene, it'll find it and replace it. Well, thanks so much for joining us, and I'll see you at the next Coffee Break.